Welcome to our short video on how to use Sketchboard. You may be asking yourself why use Sketchboard. Sketchboard is designed to work collaboratively with teams to brainstorm ideas and map out projects. But you could also use it in a video lesson, much like you would a whiteboard. Additionally, you can use it to create images for lessons, much like this one that I created here. There are two ways to get into Sketchboard. You can go to your waffle here on the right, kind of scroll down towards the bottom. There is your Sketchboard link. Now you can also get to it through your Google Drive and go to New and More and Sketchboard is here in your list of apps and it will take you to the same place. So you first need to sign up for Sketchboard. Now you can enter your email address or sign up with your school Google account. Once you get into Sketchboard, it is going to ask you to create your first board. So you can create up to three boards, um, have them accessible at a time. If you want to create a new one, you're gonna to have to delete an old one with the free version. Now you can do a personal board where that's just private to you. You can do a team board and that is available to you. And then you can add five people that can also interact on this team to create the board. And then lastly, you can create public boards and then those are accessible through the Sketchboard applications. Let's do a personal board. You can change them also later. Let's take a quick look at how to set up your teammates within Sketchboard. Add the teammates. Now the reason why you would want to do this is so that you can collaborate on a Sketchboard all at the same time. You just add in their email address and then add user. They will appear here as a team member and you can delete them at any time or change their role. You can have up to five people. If you want to change up your team for a different maybe sketch board in the future, you would have to delete one and then add the new individuals in there. Let's review some menu items. We've already talked about adding teammates. If you want to see all of your boards that you currently have created, click there and it will show you what boards you have out there. You can also delete them from here and open them up. And then you could sort them by how they're categorized. Switch team is not available in the free version. If you want to create a new board, I only had two created, so I could create a new one easily here or the shortcut is Alt-N. On the right-hand side are some tools that you can use to quickly add items to your board. And they are categorized, or you can just scroll through them. You can also free draw. So if I put my pencil down, left click, and then I hold down the shift key, it'll draw straight lines. Otherwise, it's just a freehand draw. The hand tool will move things around for you. And then the map will zoom in for you. I'm gonna demo just a quick way to get started. So I am going to make a mind map on well-being. I want that font a little bigger. I can change it here. I can change colors. So background and then the border and then my text. Now I can add all of my subcategories. Now I'm going to have several categories around the outside of this so I can adjust my colors and then I can duplicate them.
No, I don't got it set up. I can just duplicate it. Then you can modify the titles in each of the boxes. All right, now that we have all our subcategories in, if we want to add connection to each one of these, there's a couple ways to do it. If you already have them defined, then find any one of these corners here. All I have to do is click on it and drag and it will connect them for you. You can also manipulate these if you want. You can change the color. But they can only be attached here at these uh, edge points. You can also highlight whatever you want it to connect to. Say if we had another sub-connection here, and then I could double click out here anywhere and it creates another category and shows the line for us. Some of the other items that you can add are different parts of the roadmap. In the general category, we have options and I just click on them and drag them over. You can see, you still have all the options of duplicating it, changing the colors. Now the only one that doesn't show in this list is extras. Images with the free version you can't do, so we're going to skip that. But extras, here is a bot we could add. Same thing. You can make all your changes. Alright, so there are some other shape options. Your board saves continually as you go through this. If you want to download or export it to something, we have some restrictions here based on our free version. So what you could do is you can download it as a PNG and it will have a watermark on it. And now here it is ready. Thank you for watching our video on Sketchboard. If you are having any issues and need assistance, please put in a ticket to IT support.